Hi, I'm Savita and welcome to my studio. In my previous videos, you have seen how to take measurements, how to draft the pattern on paper and how to lay the fabric and how to cut the fabric. In this video, I'll show you how to sew the garment and I've tried to explain in the simplest way possible. There are different techniques and methods of sewing the garment which you'll be seeing in my upcoming videos. Let's start. So in this video, I'm assuming that you already know how to use the sewing machine. But in my upcoming videos, I'll also be showing how to thread the machine and how to start using the sewing machine for someone who does not know how to use the sewing machine. So for now, let's start with the fabric we have already cut in a step-by-step -step process. So in the previous video, you had seen how we had cut this fabric. So I have my front body here and the back. Now first step, while sewing the garment, we will be attaching the shoulders of front and back together and the seam allowance we have given is 1 cm so we will be stitching it 1 cm so this is the right side of my front body and this is the right side of my back so we are placing it right on right that is the pretty side of the fabric is facing each other and the wrong side is facing you now we will be Placing the shoulders together and we will sew at 1 cm on both the shoulders. When you are sewing a garment, use exactly matching thread. But now I am using a contrast thread because it will be clearly visible to you. So I am using a contrast thread. Now I am stitching the shoulder. The wrong side is facing me. The right side, the pretty side of both the pieces are facing each other. As when you start stitching, just lock it there and stitch at 1 cm and at the end lock it again. Do the same for the other shoulder. Align the edges together and sew at 1 cm. If you are a beginner, from the edge you can mark 1 cm. It will be easier to sew. Keep your trimmer handy to cut the thread. So now we have attached the shoulder of back and front. So both pieces are attached at the shoulder now. The next step would be to finish the neckline.
and you will be sewing from this corner to this corner so you will be stitching in a diagonal way okay and then when you open it will be a straight strip of fabric so let's sew this After this stitch, leave around 1 cm and cut off the excess. And now when you open, you have a straight strip of fabric and flatten the seam. So your bias strip is ready and now let's start sewing the neckline. Now we will be sewing this strip of fabric around the neckline and then it will be turned inside to finish the neckline for that start from one of the shoulder seam now if you observe the right side of the fabric is on top okay so you'll be placing the right on right again right side of the bias strip on right side of the body and your seam that you just stitch will be facing you so we'll be starting from one of the shoulders when you start just give a small fold and then place it to the edge of the neckline and you will be sewing quarter inch quarter inch inside from the edge of the neckline right so we are sewing quarter of an inch inside from the edge and make sure that the bias strip and the edge of the neckline is matching that is together now while sewing do not stretch the bias strip just keep it relaxed do little by little now align the edge of the bias strip with the edge of the neckline with all your three fingers hold the both the layers firm so that they don't move only thing you have to ensure is that you are not stretching the bias strip now sewn around and come to the end just on the back part. Now continue to sew and overlap the fabric on the fabric bias strip that you started. I'm done. Now the left row of the bias strip overlap it on the uh, front a little and then cut off the excess so I have sewn the bias strip all around that is front neck as well as the back neck now the next step is you need to give small slits using the tip of the scissors so that the bias strip turns inside smoothly this is done only for the curved necklines so very carefully without cutting the stitch line give small slits all around the neck so I made small slits all around the neckline so you can see here the bias strip as well as the body fabric has been cut till the stitch Don't, do not cut the stitch till the stitch make small slits all around now the next step is the leftover fabric of this bias strip turn it towards the inside of the neck that is your seam quartering seam and the leftover bias strip fabric should be facing to the same side not towards the body now using your nails you can just flatten this seam After that, fold this extra fabric over the seam that is quarter inch seam. So 
so you are folding cotton from inside this is how it looks and you will be stitching just next to the seam on your right hand side now i'll be sewing on this bias strip just next to the seam that we just stitched not on the body this stitch is called under stitch so fold little by little keeping the seam and the bias strip to its same side flatten and then sew Now as you stitch, as you do this under stitch, only ensure that you are not stretching the fabric, just keep it relaxed. So we have completed this. Now I will show you the next step. Now this is how it shows from the right side of the garment, from the wrong side. This is how it would show. Now the next step is, whatever is the excess of this bias strip, just cut it off close to the stitch. You don't need this extra fabric. So carefully just take the single layer of the bias strip and cut all around. So the last step that is finishing the neckline is the whole thing that the bias strip would turn inside and you will iron it flat and then at quarter inch from the edge of the neck neckline you will Put a stitch in a matching thread or you can do a hand hemming which I'll be showing in my next videos. For now I'll be stitching it on top. So I've pressed my neckline and this is how it looks from the right side of the garment and this is how it looks from inside. It's neat and clean. Now I'll be giving a top stitch that is caught range from the edge of the neckline. After finishing the neckline, when you lay it on a flat surface, if it's not lying flat, if it's uh, lost its shape, that could mean that you have not given slits inside or you might have stretched the bias strip while sewing the neckline so I'm sure you don't do that so now I'll be giving a top stitch that is quarter inch in from the edge of the neckline I'll be using a contrast thread so that it's clearly visible to you So I finished the neckline and next would be uh, to prepare the sleeves. So attaching sleeves and uh, finishing rest of the garment will be shown in the next part of this video. Thank you for watching this video. If you like my videos, please do share, like and subscribe. Thank you.